I'm Alex Coggins. And I'm Michelle Coggins. We've been, um, we've been married for almost 19 years. And um, we have three kids, 18, 17, 16, almost, almost, six, 17. almost 17, and 13. Um, we have been attending Harrisburg since the beginning um, when Wesley and Crystal decided to plant the church. Um, our story kind of starts before that, actually before COVID, we had um, come to a point where we were feeling extremely disconnected in church. Um, we loved God. We wanted to be a part of it, but we just could not find the connection where we were. Um, and we really struggled with that. Just basically when you go to a place and, you know, nobody really says anything or talks to you. The people that you serve under or serve with, some of them don't even know your name. That just kind of got to me a little bit. It's, you know, you're just wanting to fill a seat on Sunday. You really don't care. COVID hit and it kind of gave us an out, so we didn't have to deal with that anymore. Um, being at home watching church was absolutely perfect for us. Yeah, just it, kick back in the recliner and watch it. Right, so um, we did that basically through all of COVID. Then when church started opening back up, we still had zero desire to go back to church. But not too, I think it was maybe mid-2020, we heard about yep. Pastor Wesley and Crystal um, planting a church in Harrisburg. So we were kind of interested. So um, we reached out to Pastor Wesley, or I did, and volunteered to be a part of his launch team to help in any way that he needed. I'm still kind of unsure if I wanted to do it, but I figured, you know, try. Because we were looking for something that gave us more community and more family. Then when we moved here and they were able to come into the building, I started getting more and more involved as time went and then spent all of my time in kids ministry. I was more bought in at that time. I was just wanting to go to church and then go home. I didn't really want to invest my whole self into it because the hurt was still there and it took me a little bit longer to get over it than it did Michelle. So I was still dealing with that. And at the same time, Wesley actually offered me a part-time job um, working as a community events coordinator and kind of helping him out as his assistant. So I accepted that. I knew God was sending me in a direction. I just didn't know what it was. I, I had zero clue what that direction was. And then in June of this year, Wes actually offered me a full-time position. I accepted the job and then July 5th was my official first day. And I've always heard that when you give God your full yes, that the enemy will come after you tenfold. It just kind of enlarges that target on your back. And it, it definitely did. Um, started swinging on day one, but our world really was rocked on July 15th. It was just a normal day. We were heading to play golf. So uh, Rachel and I were behind Alex and we were at a stoplight and um, his turn green and waited a couple seconds, went through, and uh, the next day we knew a dump truck plowed into the driver's side of him and Jake. You know, when you come through the light and you look over just out of the corner of your eye and you see a dump truck, and then you kind of black out for a little bit. So I don't remember much about spinning around, but I remember opening the door and basically just falling out of the truck because I didn't want to be in the truck. I remember being on the ground and <clears throat> Michelle, she was over me, and she had to talk to the authorities. And then Rachel was sitting there holding my hand, and there was a, I think it was an off-duty nurse mm -hmm. that was trying to stop the bleeding in my head. That was a pretty horrible moment. Um, did not know what I would walk up to when I got out of the car. Um, but thank God, Jake was okay. Alex, not so much. He took a pretty good hit, but, you know, by God's grace and you know, he's here, a foot more difference, and we wouldn't be here today. So through all of that, we just, you know, we're so thankful for our Harrisburg family. They have been with us since day one. The entire church rallied around and provided meals for Alex and Jake and the girls, and they have just been with us, praying for us, praying with us since, since it happened, and we just could not be more thankful for that. Everybody that we serve with, everybody that we come in contact with in the church, you know. It's it's just, it's it's heartwarming to know that that many, that many people will rally around you when something's bad. I just feel connected with a lot of the members here, a lot of the people that go here. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's, I've never felt like this. As long as we've been going to church, I've never felt like that. 
I'm really glad that God has spoke to Wesley and Crystal to plant a church here in Harrisburg because it's it's actually changed our lives completely. I mean, it's it's home, it's family, it's community. It's community. There's it's the home that that we've been searching for. Really.